John, a 3 0 defeat away to Chester this afternoon. What are your thoughts after that? Yeah, massively disappointed. Um, you know, I said to the boys before the game today that they start really well, first 10 15 minutes of games. They, um, they start really brightly in all the games I've watched. Uh, they scored most of the goals in the first 15 minutes of games, um, but we didn't start. We didn't start brightly. Um, I think. Um, they, they came out of the blocks really well and we couldn't deal with it, um, even though they didn't really threaten us. And then the referee obviously gave a penalty away, which um, said hit Luca's hand, but Luca is adamant that it hits him straight in the face. So we'll have to wait and see um, you know, what the, the camera view shows, but um, Luca is adamant that it hits him in the face and it shouldn't have been a penalty. So they get a penalty. I think uh, we grew into the game second half, even though it was a bit scrappy. They didn't really cause them much problems. After that, they're a tidy football team, you know, they like to pass the ball. Um, and then probably the last five, ten minutes in the second half, you know, we caused them a few problems. We had, I think, about seven corners in a row. Had a few half chances, but nothing really fell for us. And um, second half, you know, it was one of those. We started OK. Um, you know, very similar to the last 20 minutes of the first half. They didn't really cause us too much problems. We didn't really cause them much problems. Uh, we, we didn't play in possession that we normally do. Um, and um, But it, we were comfortable, you know, we, you were always in the game at 1-0. And then obviously Bailey makes a mistake when the ball goes through and he, he tries to shepherd it out of play. Um, probably should go go back to Witch straight away for Witch to kick it up pitch or clear it himself out for a throw in the other end. But he tries to, um, you know, um, Shudder it out of play and the geezer gets round him, gets a little touch and the score a goal and then 2 0 it kills you. Uh, we tried to change shape, we took um, Perves and Greeny off because they're on yellow cards. Then we didn't want them to get sent off and um, tried to get some more forwards on the pitch. Um, and that, that didn't really work, so we changed shape again. Um, went 4 2 4, tried to get four up top, you know, just try and get a goal and try and get something back out of the game. And then Obviously, they scored in the last 10 seconds of the game, you know. Um, another mistake by us, really, a bit open play. Lewis tried to reverse the ball into a striker, I think, and it gets cut out and they counter attack on us. Um, so the scoreline probably, you know, kills us a little bit because probably should have been 2-0. One of the goals should have been, shouldn't have been if, it, if uh, Luca's right and it was hit him in the face. Um, but disappointed in the overall performance, really. Um, you know, I thought first five ten minutes we weren't aggressive enough in the tackle you know winning headers winning first and second balls we didn't really keep the ball really well we didn't switch play quickly enough and um, you know we probably deserve to go home with no points to be honest with you and have you got an update regarding Ollie Dyson's injury is he close? yeah hopefully um, hopefully Ollie may be back to play a part of the game on Tuesday uh, we won't risk him in you know the full game but um, he got injured against Banbury away um, it didn't swell up to the Sunday so obviously missed you know these last two games but the, he's been for a scan there's nothing serious so he's back running um, he's been doing loads of running uh, multi-directional straight sprints and he feels absolutely fine so fingers crossed if the York physios give him a go ahead on Tuesday he can play a small part on Tuesday um, and then obviously train on Thursday look going into the game on Saturday against Scunny. Yeah, I'm just on Scunny, it's another massive game next week. Do you have a message for the fans before we play Scunthorpe? Yeah, I've got, of course I've got, you know, I think, um, I've just said to the players there um, that, you know, you can't be too down. Um, you know, sometimes you play badly, sometimes the performance levels aren't there. That's football, it happens all the time. Um, it's about who's the most consistent over a whole season. Um, today wasn't our day, we need to get back on the bike, as they say, and uh, pick the lads' spirits up, told them to keep the chins up. You know, we need to concentrate on putting a good performance in against Gisborough on Tuesday and then training well on Thursday, leading us again on Saturday against Scunny because, you know, we're going to play another top team again. Um, Full-time team, you know, um, just got relegated last year, obviously flying with confidence. Um, so it's going to be difficult, but, you know, we, there's no point in moping around and feeling sorry for ourselves. So we, we've got to pick our chins up and go again and try and get everything right. Uh, we need everybody individually and collectively to be on the game. If we need, to, if we're going to get a result, we're at home, which is, you know, we're doing really well at home. So the fans will have a major part in that. I think um, if they come down and support the lads and get right behind the lads, it's always like a 12th man. I know I say it every time, but you know, I think our home record shows that. So um, yeah, looking forward to seeing the fans on Tuesday and Saturday, and hopefully we can get two wins this week. Cheers, John.